Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Are we ready to get a lot of things done today? It is Monday. I'm excited. You may be thinking, Alyssa, what the hell are you drinking out of? This is so not like you. I don't know where my black cup went. I think it's in the car. I must have left it in the car because I don't know where else it would have been. Look what this just happened. This just happened this morning. <laughs> Excuse me, those were supposed to go outside and now you knocked them down and they're all over the floor. What do you feel? What? What do you think about that? Was that you? I'm just kidding. I knew it was Bailey. You're a good boy. Sometimes. Anyways, okay, we have a lot of crap to get done today as per usual on Mondays. So we already started with the podcast, just finished that up. I got um, dressed really quickly. I usually do the podcast in my pajamas because we do it early in the morning and it's just easier to get out of bed and just do it like that. I have a load of laundry going, which I need to go switch right now. And the first, well, I guess it's not the first thing on the list, but the next thing that I need to do after that is make a graphic for the Agamil Instagram page, which is my podcast with my mother-in-law. It's called Agamil, a girl and her mother-in-law. If you're not familiar, we have an Instagram where we switch off every week and I do three, then she does three and it is my week. So it is Monday and I should have already posted. So I need to do that. That needs to get done. What else? I really need to eat food. We have a few other little things lined up, but we'll, we'll talk about it as it goes. I have a bad habit of like saying everything right in the beginning when like I should just tell you as we're doing it. Okay, here we go. A busy day with Alyssa. I'm excited to vlog. I wasn't going to because I was like, let me just get all my crap done. But you guys liked seeing like kind of behind the scenes and stuff. So I'm going to be a little bit more raw and just show you exactly what I'm doing today. So I've got my list. You guys know I always make a list on my iPhone notes app. I need to post on Instagram also. And by the way, I'm in workout clothes because we are working out at some point today. We need to do that. But uh, now's not the time. We have too much to do. Okay. Laundry. That's what I was doing. Laundry. So I usually dump out my whole basket and then I just take the darks and we wash those together. I know there are those of you out there that just throw all your colors together, but I just can't do it. I'm scared of something bleeding and ruining something. And I have to do multiple loads anyway, so I might as well separate them. It doesn't take very long. So I definitely try to do darks and lights. I think Zane just throws all of his in together when he does his laundry. What are you? Are you a separator or a together -er? I'm staring through your window looking up at the stars, up at the stars. Okay, I just stuffed a protein bar down my face. I threw on a t-shirt and we're having a slight little detour. I just changed the laundry. I was gonna make the Agamil graphic right now, but I just don't have enough time and I don't wanna rush it. So really quickly, my dad got a new car and it's a convertible. So he wants us to take a little ride in it. So that's what we're gonna do. I actually need to stop at my PO box as well um, because I just haven't been in a long time and I wanna um, check what's in there. So I told my parents, maybe we can cruise to the PO box. A purposeful cruise, you know? So that's also my to-do list for today. So at least we'll get that done as well. So let's uh, go take a ride. Have a little fun for a little bit. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's playing old school music. Wow. Sick. DIY dad with the upgrade. Who's getting out to let us in? No, we don't have to. We could jump in? No. What? Ow. Ow. Oh, you were wrong? You have to get it out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh. He felt up my ass. Ow. You sat on this. You okay? Yeah. Isn't it pretty? Small back here. <laughs> Good. Is that too much? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's really made Yeah, it's two really in the back. I stupidly did not bring a hair scrunchie, so I'm using my Agamil mask. So, double purpose if you guys want an Agamil mask. You can use it as a hair scrunchie. I don't know if they can see it. Get to your heart. I just walk into. What are you doing up there? How did you get up? I have so many questions. <laughs> okay, we're back home. Now my hair is a hot mess, but I don't know. I've fallen in love with this waver thing, so I don't mind that it's messy because like it's supposed to be like a messy curl, but I just waved it yesterday and it just looks so amazing. So, I mean, at least I, I love it. And I think it's a really fun, easy hairstyle that I think this will last me like a few days, you know? Anyways, we're back home now. We just went for a little cruise. Um, we stopped at my PO box and totally forgot it was Labor Day, so the post office was closed. Um, you can usually go to your 
your box without like anybody being there it's like a separate entrance but i need to go to the desk because i have things that don't fit in my p.o box that i need to pick up from them and um yeah they just weren't there because it's labor day and i forgot so we'll have to do that tomorrow <sighs> i can't believe i messed that one up but it's okay we wanted to go on a drive anyway so we went and checked okay so i'm now gonna do some computer things i need to post on my instagram post on agamil instagram and something else and i need to make a thumbnail and a description for my video that is hopefully gonna go up today i'm waiting for brand approval so i kind of just feel like i want to get this computer stuff out of the way and done and off of my mind because it's stuff on my to-do list so let's get it done see how much i want it see how bad i need it you gotta look into my eyes that's how much i want it how bad I need it You gotta look into my eyes Think twice before you let me go My eyes are mirrors of my soul See how much I want it See how bad I need it You gotta look into my eyes It's for adults that anyone can play It's bright Alright you guys, Agamil is up and I just listened to an ad read and made sure that it was good to go, sent that over to my manager and now we are posting on my Instagram. So we took some really cute pictures. If you watched my last vlog, we went on a little date day for our Sunday and it was so fun. Zane took some super cute pictures of me. So I just like edited them and decided like which ones I wanted to post. Uh, you guys can go see them on my Instagram if you don't already follow me at Alyssa Rose. I'm gonna go ahead and post those now I have a fake Instagram where I put stuff on my feed to see if I like like the way it looks from how I edited it So then I pull up my wannabe feed on my Laptop and I make sure I post them in the right order I'm very extra when it comes to Instagram, but I enjoy it. So I guess it's fine. You like this one as the cover? Yeah, okay most definitely Okay I like the confidence. Right, I love you. I'm gonna go work out. Okay, I love you more. Have fun! Thanks. Now we have to come up with a caption. Oh, that's like the least fun part. First, we can put the location of where we were. Where were we? Hmm. Manorville? Sunflower Farm. What is it called? Water Drinker Family Farm. Water Drinker Family Farm. Cute. Okay. Make sure I post it to Facebook, make sure... Oh, I could post these on Twitter, actually. These would be cute to post on Twitter. We got lost in this corn maze. Okay, it's gonna take me a minute to come up with the caption, so... If you guys wanna see what I ended up coming up with, go to my Instagram. <laughs> okay, so now I'm making a thumbnail for the vlog that I hope to put up today, like I said, if the brand approves. So usually, first things first, I text myself um, the picture if I made a dinner that day that I want part of the thumbnail. I just take it on my phone because I just feel like it's just an easy, clear photo. Put it in the corner. My last vlog was, I tried to do like opposite side of my last vlog, so I do like one full picture and then two like half pictures so I try to like switch it up each time and do it opposite so that's gonna be my first photo and then I just go to final cut and I look through like what I did that day and I have to switch the laundry if you can hear that buzzing but I look through what I did that day and see what I want to make part of the thumbnail try to find maybe possibly a cute screenshot of myself <laughs> very hard to do because I make weird faces like that <laughs> but yeah so anyways when I go to final cut then I just do the file share save current frame and then I'll choose my photos put them into yes i still use picmonkey i just like it it's easy and simple and i know how to use it and i think my thumbnails come out fine so then i'll pick another one for here and then a large photo for here put the little text in the middle and that's really it i'll of course also go through and i whiten the background of my images i like mess with the saturation the lighting and things like that if it's necessary but the teeth whitening tool on picmonkey is awesome that's what i use for my backgrounds and it makes just like if you have a yellow hue in that frame makes it more like bright and more appealing to click on the thumbnail and title is like everything because it's what makes people click on the photo so i definitely like to try and make it like bright and um clickable i have a huge box that i got from thread up this week that the cats have just been sitting on and i want to wash some of this stuff well all of it so also these sweatpants that i got zane and i we should probably try them on before i wash them but I think they'll be fine. Okay, next load going in. Okay, video is all ready to go on Unlisted. That is done. I just got so much work stuff done on my computer. So I'm now ready for a break. I definitely like to take breaks in between doing stuff. So it is 4.12 right now. I'm gonna have like a late lunch and then we'll have like a late dinner. The other night I made a HelloFresh meal for myself for dinner. So 
it was a two serving one and I only had the one serving so now I have everything prepped and I have some for lunch I'm so excited it was so yummy you guys know I love my whole fresh this video is not even sponsored by them but I eat them all the time love so I'll show you what I made this is it the harissa 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 sweet potato pockets. I usually don't like cucumbers, but I didn't like them eating it by themselves, but in the pocket was really good. So it's like these baked sweet potatoes with like may mayonnaise, mayonnaise an instrument, with mayo mixed with like the seasoning. So we have to heat some of this stuff up. I'm going to do it in the air fryer probably. Oh, this is like nice and cold. That's not very good. I was planning on eating this yesterday, but we ended up, uh, you guys saw our date day, so I didn't end up eating it, but I think it's still good. Mmm, these sweet potatoes are so good, baked in the oven, and then it has like little squash or pumpkin seeds on top, pepitas they're called. Okay, I think I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer to heat it up. I think that will be easier. <laughs> Okay, so I was supposed to spread this mayo mixture on the pita before I put the stuff in. I did that last time, I just totally forgot this time. But anyways, I'm just gonna add it on as I take a bite. We've got it stuffed. I will have the recipe for this linked down below. HelloFresh has all their recipes on their website, by the way. So if you wanna just like recreate their recipes, it's on their site. But I added avocado. This one was starting to break, so I couldn't stuff it as much. And I have the cucumber salad right here. I will just add it like as I take bites, add more cucumber. So I'm going to enjoy one of my favorite parts of the day. I'm going to watch a YouTube video. I got my fresh ice water. Happy girl, ready for a break. All right, we've got two clean baskets of laundry. I'm now going to strip the bed. It's been a while. Sheets need to be cleaned. Billy, it's just me. Don't get scared. This one's always behind me. <laughs> I'm taking this off. Thank you. <laughs> did you just give me your cheek for a kiss? How did you know? But you have eye boogies, eye boogies, eye boogies. Why do two out of three of my cats don't like getting their eye boogies taken out? It's my favorite part of having a cat. Okay, so we have one load in the washer, one load in the dryer, and then that's our last load that has to be washed and dried. I'm going to now put these away. This one is like towels and stuff, so I'm just gonna fold these in the kitchen and get them all away. laundry is in you guys i'm so excited that i got all my work done for the day so now i can like really focus on cleaning up i really wanted today sorry i know it's dark i really wanted today to be like my major clean day so i'm so excited and i had a late lunch so we're having a late dinner so i'm ready to clean we need it pretty bad and i need to change your battery before we start that because we're gonna take up a lot okay first things first we're gonna get the sink full of dishes done i'm ashamed that it has piled up we have been pretty good about it but you know, life happens sometimes, so let's just get it done. One, two, three. Okay, there you have it, so much better. It actually didn't take that long. I feel like the pile looked worse than it actually was, so that's good and done. Where did the water go? You wanted to give them keys? Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of vacuuming. Something I've learned about the Dyson after using it for a while is that it can't do the whole apartment 
without like dying like I can't do the whole thing it'll die so now I've learned to vacuum like two or three rooms well we only have so many you know what I mean like I'll vacuum like just the um, kitchen and the mudroom and the bathroom and then I'll put it back on the charger I'll make sure I save like cleaning the counters which is what I'm doing now I'll clean the counters while it charges again and then I'll do the rest because I like to use it on the high suction which makes it die faster but I just feel like it's a better clean so now I've learned to like use it and then make sure I have something to do in between so we're gonna do that now Okay, so um, cleaning wasn't exactly going the right way for me. I went to use the Dyson, it was dead, whatever. I did the best that I could. Sometimes days just don't go exactly how you plan. Okay, I just went outside and I harvested some stuff. I got some fresh parsley for the dinner I'm about to make and I got some lettuce. I wanna wash it and I'm gonna try it out tomorrow. I'll have a little side salad with it and see how it came out. I literally just planted like the bottom of the romaine head that I had gotten from the grocery store, so we'll see how it tastes. Anyways, we are about to do a major throwback and and I am not using a recipe today, you guys. We're gonna make an Alyssa dinner, and I'm very excited. I've seen these online, and I'm kind of just taking some inspiration from it and making it my own, but it's gonna be like an Alfredo chicken lasagna roll-up. That's what we'll call it. So for my recipe that I'm making right now, I hope that this comes out good because I'm about to show you every step. I'm gonna use four lasagna noodles, so we're gonna have two roll-ups each, so two per serving. I have some shredded chicken. You guys already know how I make that. If not, it's in the vlog. Some Alfredo sauce. You can make homemade, but jarred is just easier for tonight. Some mozzarella cheese, some Parmesan cheese, garlic, onion, and then I'm also gonna add some broccoli. And on the side, since we're just gonna have two roll-ups each, I'm gonna make some air fryer asparagus. I've also shown that so many times, so I'm not even gonna bother, but yes, I'm excited. I'm gonna use a pan, and then I'm gonna boil the noodles here, and then I'm gonna use this to bake it in the oven. And I know these say no boil, but obviously we need to soften them to roll them, so I'm just gonna boil them until they're softened. Okay, here we go. I have the pan heating up on a medium low, and I'm gonna do half an onion. I'm also going to put the lasagna noodles in really quick because it's boiling. So again, we're just doing two full sheets for a serving, so I'm going to do four. If you don't know how to cut an onion, you just want to make slits up to the root, but don't go through the root. So you don't want to like separate it from the root. Just make slits, and then you go the other way, and you'll have fine little dices. And then once I get to the root, I flip it this way make some more slits and then cut it like this that way you're not wasting any onion I'm doing one teaspoon of olive oil in my heated up pan and the onions are going in I'm also gonna get my garlic chopped up I'm gonna do two cloves
Okay, now I'm just measuring out the chicken. So I think I'm gonna do six ounces total. So we have three ounces for each serving. I'm gonna see how much chicken that looks like so that I can make sure that I fit it in the noodles. Okay, there you have it. That is six ounces of chicken. By the way, if you see my spatula, it got stained from black beans. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's not dirty. Okay, the onions are like a little bit brown, a little bit softened, so I'm gonna throw in the garlic now. I also took out the lasagna noodles, I just used tongs, and I set them on a plate flat out so that they didn't dry and stick together. Okay, now I'm gonna add in the chicken. Since it's cold from the fridge, I want it to heat up properly. So we're gonna get that all nice and mixed in, the onion and garlic. While that chicken is heating up, I'm going to chop up some broccoli. Just gonna chop it nice and small, Roughly, nothing too crazy here. I totally could have taken out my larger cutting board, but this one's just so easy to wash. <laughs> All right, this is looking good. Now we're gonna add in our broccoli. And I'm gonna put the heat all the way to a low. And we just added plain ingredients, so we're gonna make sure that we get nicely salt and nicely pepper. And then I'm also doing some Italian seasoning. Good amount of that. Turning my cutting board over. We're gonna go ahead and pick off our fresh parsley. All right, I'm just chopping up the fresh parsley very roughly. Here's what we're looking like. We're gonna add some Alfredo sauce now. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup. I might go to a half. We're gonna see how I feel about how much moisture this brings in. So quarter cup, I think that'll be enough because I also want to put some on the bottom and on top of the rolls. Mix in your sauce, should give it a nice consistency. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of that fresh parsley and then I'm gonna use the rest of the fresh parsley to top it once I put it in the oven. Okay, so here's my mixture. I think that looks awesome. If you want it more saucy and Alfredo-y, I totally understand. Go ahead and do so. But I just wanna keep it a little bit lighter. All right, we're gonna turn that heat off. Take it off the heat. I want it to stay nice and moist. Here is the fun part. Sprayer thing. What is it called? A baking dish? <laughs> Very professional. Now I'm measuring out another quarter cup of sauce. And I'm gonna keep this on the side and use a little bit at a time. So for right now, I'm just using a tablespoon and I want to put a little bit under each roll. So this is about a half a tablespoon each. I'm just gonna set this aside and we're gonna make the rolls on this little mat. This is just from like the Dollar Tree. We've got our lasagna noodle, yay. I'm gonna just evenly make this into fourths in the pan. So I'm just like flattening it out so that it's one even layer. And then I'm just gonna take the spatula and kind of like separate it just roughly so that I know how much to put in each. There you go, we've got four little <laughs> sections, so cute. I'm just gonna use this spatula, I'm gonna put it Wait, if I wanna roll it up, I'm gonna put it a little bit forward. I feel like that was a good amount of Alfredo sauce. It made it nice and like shapeable, if that makes sense, so that I can mold it and make it stay on here rather than it being soft and it'll just like fall all over. Okay, amazing. Now, these are gonna be kind of like fold overs instead of rolls, but you're gonna fold and then try to keep everything in and then fold. Again. Oh my God, that worked so well. I'm bringing this to the dish. Okay, we're gonna speed through the rest of these and then I'm gonna show you how I top them. Can we just take a moment of how cute and nicely this fits, oh my god. And two is like, I feel like more than enough for a serving. Okay, I'm very excited now. This is exciting. Okay, so we're gonna take that quarter cup that we set aside earlier and we're gonna top it with some Alfredo sauce. Again, I'm doing about a half a tablespoon on each. And like I said, I'm making this a lighter version. If you wanna use more Alfredo sauce, you dump it all over, you go for it. So if you're paying attention, for this version, you only use a quarter of a cup of sauce total. And I feel like honestly, you're still gonna get that delicious Alfredo-y taste without like 
so much sauce. By the way, I have my oven on 450. That's what I'm gonna put these in at. Also, I was tempted to, but I didn't. But maybe next time if these come out really good, I was gonna use a nine by 13 dish and just do one lasagna noodle laid flat and then the layer of the chicken and then another lasagna noodle on top. Kind of like a mini long lasagna instead of the roll-ups, but I wanna try this tonight. Okay, now I'm going in with some mozzarella cheese. This is just a reduced fat one. And I usually like to weigh cheese because I feel like you get more, but for now it's just gonna be easy to um, measure it out. I'm gonna put one tablespoon on each. Oh my God, you guys, if this comes out good, I'm gonna be very proud of myself because I haven't made a recipe on my own in so long. Like I wing stuff once in a while, but this I feel like is like a recipe recipe. And I'm sure there's recipes out there that are so similar to this, but I'm doing it all on my own, okay? Oh my God, this is so cute. I just cannot even take it. Now, just for some extra yumminess, I have fresh Parmesan cheese, and I'm just doing one tablespoon for two pieces, so half a tablespoon. This cheese is super strong in flavor, so you honestly don't even need that much. Half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon. Ooh, Alyssa Rose. Half a tablespoon. This is actually a lot more than I thought it would be. This is awesome. Then we're gonna top it with the rest of our fresh parsley. Oh my God, I have good feelings about this. Oh my goodness, you guys, these are so cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna put them in at 450 until I feel like, I don't know, just the cheese is melted and they're warmed through. I'll put on like a timer for like maybe three minutes at a time. And I'm gonna put them right in the middle. Three minute check. Ooh, doing good. Looks good, I'm gonna give it another two and then I'm gonna move it to the top so that the cheese gets like real nice. Since I just weighed that one, I put it on here without like tearing it. If you guys know scales, you know what I'm talking about. And it's only 16 gram difference. So I did those serving sizes almost perfect. Oh my God, and almost the same amount of asparagus. Ah, love that for us. What's up? I made my own recipe for dinner, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> Super late dinner today. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so true. I was not expecting the same size to be this big. I thought like, oh, two lasagna noodles. Yeah, no, these are actually really like, big. Two pieces of lasagna. <clears throat> yeah. So what did you wind up doing? What do you mean you made your own recipe? You just, just completely continue. winged it, the yep. whole thing? Yep. Nice. Show me what you got here, chef. So today I have for you. <laughs> Wait, let me get a better angle. Sick of these crappy angles. Okay. So today I have for you a chicken alfredo roll up. Mm -hmm. It is stuffed with chicken and Yum. broccoli and onion and garlic and alfredo sauce. Yum. And it is topped with some shredded mozzarella cheese, some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Amazing. We love all that. And fresh parsley and alfredo sauce on top as well. Exquisite. And this whole plate is, well I didn't account for the asparagus yet, but four fifty-five. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. I'm nervous. I think it would be better if I made my own homemade Alfredo sauce, but... Oh yeah. Let's see. Yeah? Oh god. This is my first time mm. making my own thing in a while. That's really good. Mmm! That's good! I know. Mm. The lasagna noodles cooked well too. Obviously if we wanted to be higher calorie, I would totally use more Alfredo sauce and like smother it, but I am impressed. I was saying, next time if we want to do like not a roll up, I could do the straight piece of lasagna, and uh -huh. then put the stuffing, and then another piece of lasagna on top. It'll be like a long piece yeah, yeah, yeah. of lasagna. That could be good too. Definitely. It might be a better ratio, because it'll be a thinner layer of right. chicken. Okay, I just put the rest of my laundry away. It is 11.42 p.m., and I'm getting on the bike for 30 minutes. So what I've been doing lately is bike for 30 minutes. I try to do it as much as I can, and then I do 10 squats, 20 crunches, and 10 push-ups. Just a little something. I'm gonna try and start doing it every day. Every morning I wanna just wake up and just do it because like, 
what the heck just said what did i just do to my hair i'll wake up and i'll like prioritize editing or prioritize getting the vlog started and it's like if i just took the 30 minutes that i sat in bed and look at tiktok i would be better so one step at a time but i'm gonna try and start let's do this also i get a lot of questions on where my bike is from it's from amazon but uh the specific one that i have is like not in stock i believe but i'm gonna try and look it up and find it elsewhere or at least find something similar on amazon for you guys and as you can see it folds and unfolds really easily and i like it so i'm gonna go on the two speed and i try to like not stop and just do as little breaks as possible so i think i'm gonna end this here you guys because i'm gonna get on here then i'm gonna jump right into the shower i'm gonna put on our fresh sheets and i'm gonna go to bed today's notification shout out goes to izzy g she says if you knew you were about to eat your last meal on earth what would it be this is a very tricky question because i'm very like whatever i'm in the mood for but my first thought is like a very creamy delicious pasta with like peas and then my other thought was pizza very cheesy pizza yum and then i also thought of mac and cheese and like fried chicken that all sounds really good i'm curious to see what your guys's last meal on earth would be Ooh, french fries that's good too i don't know i feel like that's such a hard decision so i want to know what you guys think what would your last meal on earth be i'm interested don't even say like my last meal on earth would be just put like what you would eat and it'll be like a clue for me to know that you guys watch till the end i'm gonna test you guys are you still watching <laughs> anyways thank you so much for having on your notifications i love you so very much if anybody else would like a notification shout out comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys see how much i want it see how bad i need it you gotta look into my eyes that's how much i want